welcome back. I am Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And today I have another Dash product. This is the Mini Pie Maker. Um, you might have seen my last Dash review, and it was the the Mini Butt Cake Maker. Um, what I did forget to mention in that video, because I mentioned that I had the the Mini Griddle and the uh, waffle iron. But what I forgot to mention, which this one's my favorite, is the egg cooker. So this is the one I use the most. Uh, it's, it's my favorite one. So this is the Dash egg cooker. I will link that video below if you want to check out that review. So this, this is the mini pie maker. So I already opened this because I have played around with it. At first I thought, oh, these Dash products are so easy to use that I'm gonna have no problem doing this review. So then I thought about it, I was like, sometimes pie crust, I don't know, it doesn't seem to bake all the way. I don't know, especially with like a pumpkin pie, it seems like the bottom crust never gets done. I don't know. I don't know, it was just weird. And let me just say, I'm glad I opened it and played around with it. All right, so this is what it comes with. You know, here it is. And this, the pie maker is the same size as the butt maker. So these two are the same size. And then the griddle uh, is a little smaller. So, um, so, but like I've said, they're both very small, um, easy to store. So anyway, uh, it comes with this, another recipe book as always, and this little cutter, which is great. So, yeah. so I'm going to do three different pies. It says you can use, um, pie crust if you want to make your own or uh, the store-bought or puff pastry. I'm going to try both, well, store-bought pie crust and the puff pastry. I'm going to do an apple pie, a pumpkin pie, and a breakfast pie, or I guess you could say a quiche um, with the puff pastry. The other two, I'm going to use pie crust. So I do, I do think this, I was surprised this was in there because I was like, oh, that's awesome, because um, I was thinking, how am I gonna cut this out the right size? But this is perfect. So, let's get started with an apple pie. So, like with all the Dash products, the blue light comes on uh, when it's heating up. I shouldn't be holding it like this, but these, I wish they would change the color of them because it is hard to see. I don't know if you can see it on the video. But all right, so I'm just gonna unroll the pie crust. And it does recommend to, um, let them set out and come up to room temperature just so they um, cook up more evenly or bake up more evenly I should say. All right so first I'm going to cut out the top. Here's the pie top. That was easy enough. All right pie top and then here is the bottom. Waste least amount of dough here. Well. So as you can see on the cutter, it has these, I don't know if you can see that, see there. So that's and it cuts a little, it makes little cuts in the, in the uh, pie dough. Kind of reminds me of fried bologna. Did you ever have fried bologna? Always cut it so it wouldn't like bubble up. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. But anyway, it's just so when you put it in there, you can over overlap like that and so it'll fit it fit in there all right now we wait okay so it's ready in the directions uh it mentions spraying it um but in, in each individual recipe it never mentions spraying it and i've done it both ways and it seems to be fine not spraying it so i'm not going to spray it Ooh, so it is hot so you got to be careful when you place it in here so we overlap Kind of goes down in here. It kind of comes up on the sides. All right, so set about a third of a cup of filling. With this, you want to make sure it kind of like comes up because you want that top crust to touch here, or it's not going to get fully baked. I think that's good. And then I'm going to go around the edge of the crust the edge of the crust with a little egg wash just to help it stick. I've done this both ways too and I don't know I didn't really need it. 
I'm just gonna make little cuts in the top. And you could get fancy with this and do, uh, you know, a uh, fancy top on it, like a lattice top if you wanted. But right now, I'm gonna egg wash the top too. And it says it should only take like, I don't know, three to four minutes, but let's see. Put it down. All right. And this blue light, it will go on and off to regulate the temperature. So, all right. So it's been four minutes, and that's in the recipe book. That's what it says. So let's see. So I think it's done, and it says to unplug it and let it cool off a minute before you take it out. So I'll do that. Okay. I mean, it looks it looks done, but like there's a place over here. Let's see. And it still looks raw. I don't know. It looks pretty cute. I will say that. Uh, I'm just not sure all the crust is done. Like there, it doesn't seem like it's done. Sorry. I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to do a fancy top on it. It's ready. Put this one in here. Remember, be careful. Going in. Do a lattice on top. Salt and pie. No, I just lay it on here because this is difficult. I feel like the bottom's not cooked. All right, let's see. All right, so it's been four minutes, and most of the crust is done. But you can see here. This is still raw, and it's because it wasn't touching the top. That's the issue I had. So if you don't fill this full enough, the crust doesn't touch the top, and it doesn't get baked all the way, and you then it burn in the other part of it. Um, I will give it a few more minutes just to see if I can get that. But it's not touching it, but we'll see. I'm going to close it for another minute. Okay, so as you can see here, Burn myself. The crust is still raw, but the rest of it's done. So you have to make sure it's full enough to touch the top. If it doesn't, you get a raw crust on top. Next up, it's pumpkin season, so I'm gonna do a pumpkin pie. Oh. I don't think I mentioned like how it has this little scalloped edging on there. Okay. I smell it burning. Let's take a look. Yeah. Um, and of course that's not done. Ugh. All right. So this smells um, and the edges are setting up a little bit, but so I have an idea. Have an idea. Let's see. I'll make a mess of this. Okay, take this out. This is cut from the top. So I'm thinking if I don't have that edge around here, that's not gonna burn. It'll give the filling time to bake. Maybe I'll put a little less in. What happens so while we're waiting for that um, see here it has little they look like pumpkin pies and the crust I don't know how they got the filling to bake and not burn the crust I don't I don't understand all right I'm about 13 minutes now so I think it's done I don't know what this crust is burnt or what but i'm gonna try to get out of here see i don't see how the crust on top how you could bake a pumpkin pie like that and not burn the crust i mean it's cute it's a little bitty let me let it cool off and we'll see if the bottom is done all right up next i'm gonna try the puff pastry all right, I 
You'll see a lot of flour on puff pastry, so you can try to brush some of that off. We're just gonna do the bottom on this one. So this is heated. This in here, like I said, this is going to be the breakfast pie or the called quiche. In the recipe book they have it called a breakfast pie. That was interesting. All right, so we have it in there. Here's my eggs and bacon, cheese, a little whipping cream, heavy cream. All right, let's see what happens. Time is it? Let's see. It's been about four minutes. And the egg is not cooked. Ah. All right. I'll give it a few more minutes. Darn it. Okay. I think it might finally be done. Yes. Ten minutes, I think. You just got to keep watching it. But the crust, it looks pretty good. Bottom. Let it cool off and I'll give it a try. Okay, so it's definitely not my favorite dash product, but um but it's it's cute, I guess, if if you do it right. Um alright, so here's the first one I made. And then I just I really don't need to taste these, it's not about the taste. I'm just trying to see if the dough is cooked all the way. But, it looks, it looks like it is there. Maybe I will have a bite, just a bite. So the dough on that one is fully cooked, so that's good. It was this one that was so, but you just, the bottom looks okay. It's just, you have to make sure you have enough filling so all the crust touches the top or or you're gonna end up with that raw pie dough. So, unless you like raw, raw pie dough, pumpkin. How they got those pies to cook without the uh, edges burning, I don't know. But let's see this one. Here you can see it's still not fully, fully baked. And yes, I tried to get off a little fancy and put some. Uh, um, pumpkin spice on there and it kind of dumped down on me so that's why it looks like that. Alright. I think it's cooked most of the way. Um maybe. I don't I don't know how in the world you can get the crust done. So if you have this pie maker and you've ever made a pumpkin pie in it, uh let me know how you did it because like in the book it showed, you know, the crust was perfect, the pie was done. Yeah, I, and this is just a tiny, tiny pie, so I'm going to say this was like 15 minutes. Yeah, not a fan of it for apple pie. I mean for pumpkin pie. All right, next is the breakfast. This is the, um, the, um, yes, that's what I meant, the puff pastry. All right, so the egg part looks pretty good, but um, the puff pastry, it's like, it's not fully cooked there. I mean, the egg part's fine, um, but you can see here that that's not cooked. See? You don't want me to roll dough. Why am I doing that? Okay, so my two cents. Um, speaking of cents, $19.99. I've seen it anywhere for between like $14.99 to $20, so it's in that price range, which isn't bad. But for me, it's just too much work trying to get it just right. Unlike, you know, the bunt pan um, or the bunt maker, you could just pour the batter in and you know, wait for it to bake. Um, but this, you have to get exact. I mean, I guess if, if you're not worried about having a little raw dough, it's not a big deal. But I don't know. I just... Even, even on this one, you know, the lattice on that one, it looks like it's done, um, but I'm not sure how they got it done. So if you have one of these and you've had better luck with it, um, let me know in the comments below. I guess for me, I just don't eat enough pie 
for it to matter that I would want a mini pie. I don't know. But if you do, if you love pie, you want a mini pie just for yourself, it, it might be worth it. I did check Amazon and it got good ratings on Amazon. I think it was like four and a half stars. Um, but when I started reading some of the comments, some people did post some um, pictures of their um, of their pies and one was it was like burnt on the edge and then it was raw in the center and this she didn't put enough filling in the, the middle for it to touch the top so that was the problem um someone even took it apart and adjusted the temperature on it so, so that's a little too much for me but anyway like i said i do love the other dash products but this one not for me all right question of the day what's your favorite pie i would have to say mine is Apple or pecan? It's a close one. It's a tie. It's a tie. Pecan is super sweet, but once in a while it's really good. So anyway, what's your favorite pie? Let me know in the comments below. All right, if you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.